Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you with another redstone furniture type jobber. Everybody loved the redstone closet. If you missed it, I'll put it in the, not the description, but the eye in the top right hand corner of the screen, which brings me to my new project, which is a redstone kitchen. Very simple and efficient, looks good. I usually try to keep the white behind, but it really looked better just with a, with a gray block behind it. This is a redstone kitchen because it actually works where you just put your fuel and your food in here, and then when you come up here, it shoots out a food every time. Very simple, and it automatically cooks it, everything's good. The only challenge is, not really a challenge, but a small challenge is it makes noise while it's cooking. So I have that little switch there, so if it's cooking and you're cooking stuff, you can leave it, but if you're not actively cooking stuff, you could easily just turn it off, and there you go. It looks sharp with the water, with the taps, with a little uh, hood range. These stoves are purely decorational, but if you wanted to like use them for whatever, you could, but automatically all your food will auto-smelt in here. So. That said, I'm gonna tell you what you need again. It's a little bit of a long list because I'm gonna tell you all the different things you need. I'm not putting the andesite on there. So that's pretty much the one thing you don't really have to look for. So for this build, guys, you're gonna need <clears throat> two redstone torches, three furnaces, one trap chest, one regular chest, two iron bars, four redstone repeaters, two cauldrons, three levers, one sticky piston, one iron door, one button, one block of iron, two quartz stairs, one trap door, four gray carpet, three droppers, three hoppers, one bucket of water, eight blocks of choice, and of course, two item frames. So let's get rid of this stuff and let's just take all this stuff back here because this is going to be the redstone part. It's not actually very hard at all. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and take out basically what we want is our center to be here so we're going to do four like that one under the wall that you're using and one in front and we're going to go down three that's okay we'll fix that one later three deep looks good perfect so once we've done this, grab your... Look, why did I even get rid of my droppers? I don't understand. I thought I had everything in there. So, dropper facing up. Very simple. Go down here. Crouch place a hopper into this guy. Throw a furnace on top of this guy. Throw a hopper into the furnace. And then jump up here. Hopper into this guy. Hopper into this guy. And then place two more droppers up. Ta-da! Looks good. So now let's go back to the other side. We're just going to take a block or two away just so that uh, we can access a few things. Let's just uh, do this. Okay, so first things first, let's go down here. Crouch place and put a right there, torch. We're going to need some blocks of choice. Let's go ahead since we don't need the droppers anymore. Put block here, block here, block up. Redstone repeater. Redstone repeater, two ticks, two ticks. As you can see with this, basically all this does is it takes the signal and wraps it around. So let's go over here. Once we've done this, it's gonna go up to this block. Then we're gonna put a block on the ground there, a block one up right here, and then a block on the ground, a block one up, and a block on the ground. <laughs> Looks good. Grab a couple more redstone repeaters. Two ticks delay right here, two ticks delay right here, redstone dust, right there. So, as you can see, it's currently operational. So, first thing we're going to do is actually go down here. Basically, to, in order to stop the ticking, all you got to do is place a lever right here. So technically right now you have an operational auto furnace. This is a fully operational one. It would be very flush to the ground uh, if you did use it there. So let's just go ahead and seal this up. So now we're gonna get to the decorative area here. So let's go ahead and close this guy up. Let's go ahead and put, so for this one here guys, you're gonna wanna put your trap chest over here and not here. This is gonna be a regular chest, trap chest. The reason why is if this is a trap chest, it's gonna hit this dispenser that we're going to put here to dispense the food and it's going to dispense food when you open this chest which is not what you want so grab ourselves a dispenser let's grab a few things a dispenser we need the iron block we're going to also need trap doors 
So first things first, we're going to put this trapdoor right here. This is going to be your cool uh, area to do that. Let's go ahead and grab your... Look, I grabbed a dropper. Horrible. You need to make sure that this is a dispenser, guys. Dispenser. This dispenser is going to go right here with an iron block right here. Let's go ahead and grab an iron door. Jump up in the sky and put it backwards like this. Once you've done that, let's swing over here. Now we grab a button. It could actually be any button you desire, but right there. And now you're going to see that it shoots your food so that's pretty much the redstone stuff out of it is like that's like kind of the hard part so what we're gonna do now is just do a little decorating and I thought having a few actual stoves here would be good and I really enjoyed the color of the I think it was brown no we used gray dark gray carpet perfect so I wanted to put it I ended up crouch placing it here you can put it here as well as on top of this guy you could put a carpet as well and then I put it on the left side there so, grabbing a few cauldrons. Cauldrons are key. We're going to need cauldrons, levers, bucket of water. Then what we're going to do is just make our little end table, which is pretty easy as well, with a torch and a thing. And let's grab a item frames. Perfect. So, we're going to want to be able to mark off this guy and this guy to make sure everybody knows you put fuel in this one and food in this one. And then what we're going to do is throw our cauldrons here and here put water in one of them and then make sure that the lever as the tap is down on the one with the water and up on the one without the water looks good to me jump in the sky get rid of this guy get rid of this guy throw a torch grab a sticky put a sticky on it jumps in the air I can't believe I got rid of my carpet again and then carpet on that guy looks pretty sharp to me so far now we're just gonna finish the the final touches oh look what I did very silly so now that we did this, we're going to need, uh, let's just grab our food. So we're going to put, like, say, let's put raw beef on there. And uh, our fuel is going to be uh, coal. So let's go ahead. Raw beef goes in here. Fuel goes in here. We got our trap door right there. This is going to work. So maybe what we can do is actually, uh, let's do this and let's do this. And let's actually put this guy in, put this guy in this guy here put this guy in put this guy in so this is gonna run it's just not gonna send them up unless this is trick ticking so what I'm gonna do is just turn this on for the duration there and again it's not that bad of a beat but we're gonna grab some iron bars and some quartz stairs and then the other thing that I find is pretty key here guys is throw some other kind of brick behind these guys even if you don't want to no matter what you do when you blend it into a room you want it to look like see what i mean you want it to look like it's a hood system you know what i mean? I, I really felt it look good and then grab yourself iron bars and i just do iron bars on each side of this guy and there you go so hopefully if we walk up here hey we got a steak and there you go man working redstone kitchen for the win you got the on and off switch. That way you don't have to harass your friends. And there you go, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope it fits right in. I'm going to keep this whole redstone furniture thing going up. This is a kitchen. I think I'm going to be doing, uh, I don't know, something else cool redstone-y uh, coming probably tomorrow. So don't forget, guys, smash that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my daily Minecraft uploads and tutorials, let's plays. And one day I'm going to make an elevator. I promise. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.